I am back. For those of you who are just tuning in, you're tuned into the Authentic Prophetic Experience live with me, Pastor Prophetess Cindy Philemon, and you're tuned in to WSDO and your 1400 AM favorite dial to the most popular uh, radio station in Sanford, Florida and surrounding areas. I tell you, people of God, I thank God for that song that was just played. Um, Because I was feeling just a little bit down, people of God, because I had been in an accident and I thought that losing 23 pounds was going to make everything all right. Even though I know that I had a torn ligament and I knew that I was going to need surgery, but I just kept going. I didn't let nothing stop me. And I want you to know that all of a sudden my knee stopped me. (laughs) <laughs> but it didn't stop nothing else. But I'm happy because God is putting everything together. I'm happy because we know that it don't take a whole lot of people to do anything. You understand what I'm saying? That God will do something in just a few people that you have. That's why it's very important when you have, whether it's two people, three people, be very thankful, even for those two or three people. Because when people know your vision and they see what you're trying to do, they will back you up, people of God. And I tell you, I ended up with a brace on where I can't bend my knee, and I also am on crutches. But I tell you, God worked, to, all things work together for our good. And when I've heard that song, um, I Want to Be Where You Are by, ah, I can't think of her, um, I know, um, T- Tasha Cobbs. And when it's that song played, it was like it just uplifted my spirit. I thank God. You know, I'm not the type of person to be down, but it's just the fact that I know that it slowed me up a little bit. And I like to get around and do, but I know that I'm a fast healer and I know that I'll be back on my feet in two weeks if I, you know, whenever that takes place. But I just thank God because I usually go one place and everybody told me to go to Altamont and it was packed. Jam packed. The Florida hospital was jam packed. But I can understand why it was jam packed because everybody's saying that's the best hospital. And I found out that is. They treated you real good. I was in the hallway, but they kept checking on me and they treated me good because it was that many people in there. And I want to share this with you, people of God. You we you know, we can't sit up there, okay. We might have wanted I might have wanted a room. I was in the hallway and I want to share something with y'all. I was my head was facing a door, and there was this young girl and her mother was um in the room and all of a sudden she went to screaming and and crying and asking for help help somebody help this is my mom and i i wanted to get up but i couldn't get up because they had me blocked and i could i was ready to slide up off that gurney i was ready to hobble right over in that room and lay hands and show no prayers can i pray for your mama you know what i'm saying but then when i looked up i seen of the most beautifulest light that i have ever seen it was illumination people of god it was the most beautiful thing and then i remembered that i seen that light one time before and i had to uh uh-uh you understand so what i did is i softly just i went to praying for a mother and as i was praying for a mother i was like you can't go now your daughter needs you you can't go now and i tell you out of all the people the nurse everything ran in the room Everything was fine. And I sat there and I said, sometimes we never, never complain wherever God put you. Because I said, Lord, because the lady asked me, she said, you're going to have to be in the hallway. Would that be okay? I said, ma'am, that'll be fine. You know, long as I'm seen. I said, I can understand that, you know, you're packed and y'all got to take the first cases that are most serious first. So I tell you, God had a purpose. God had a plan. See, I didn't know God had that plan. I didn't know that that young lady was in a room about to lose her mama. You know what I'm saying? And so I was just started praying because I couldn't get to her. And then everything was okay. And I just thank God for that because people of God, God put us places for us to pray. Pray. We were, I was right there on my post and didn't even know I was on my post. Even though I was a little down because my knee gave out and I couldn't walk. Because that's the knee I got hurt, hit with in the accident. But I, God still used me even in the midst of that. And then as I was just laying there, I was just giving God thanks, giving God praise. And just like when that music, that song played on the radio, that just uplifted my spirits even the more. Because I know everything's going to be okay. But people of God, we got to realize sometimes the apostles, pastors, bishops, we go through things. We might not always share with you everything that we go through. But in our going through, we're still worshiping God. In our going through, we're still um, working. You understand? Because when I have that surgery, um, guess what? You better believe I'm going to have a laptop 
on, on my lap and I'm be typing and writing my books and everything. Them two weeks that I be down, uh, by the time I get down two weeks, I probably have five books ready. But that's why I said people, are, and, and, and ain't no telling how many playwrights, but that's why I say people have got... A lot of times, no matter what life what, what life hands you out, you got to learn how to create lemonade. If do you feel them lemons, them lemons coming at you, create lemonade. Because I'm telling you, there were times even with, with people have nasty attitudes. There were times when people had nasty attitudes. I turned that, at, that nasty attitude around. And you know what? I started saying, hey, how you doing today? And then I went to say, you know, God's going to do da-da-da-da. And that nasty attitude, all of a sudden, I made their day. I made them happy. That's what God want to use us for, making somebody else happy. Even if you feel that they may not deserve it, you don't know what it is that they went through, what they've been through. But you can win them to God, people of God. When you turn around and you you speak nice to them, and in spite of how they act, and some cut you off cold, inwardly, just pray for them. You understand what I'm saying? Everywhere you find yourself at, no matter where it is, know that always be ready for God to use you. Because I did not plan for God to use me. I was in pain. But when that girl was screaming out and she was losing her mom, I was ready to jump off that gurney. But I just couldn't get off it. But I did. I started right there praying. So that's why I say a lot of times we don't understand what God is doing, but God knows. And even with the prophets, God don't explain everything. But then as you go along, he'll show you and he'll explain it. And then you start laughing within yourself. Because you understood. You understand what I'm saying? That's why we have to have our spirits right at all times. That's why we always have to have that peace. That's why we always have to walk in the fruits of the spirit. Always having God's presence. Because, you know, there were times when I was coming into church, I used to think that, you had to go to church to get the presence of God. I used to think that you had to be inside the church and you worship God to worship God, you know. And then as I started praying home and the presence of God started falling, even in the home, I was like, whoa, because God is everywhere. God is spirit. And God, we dwell together in the church to get strength, to strengthen one another. You understand what I'm saying? To hear one another's story and things. Because it blessed my heart hearing Pastor Murthy, Dr. Ron Murthy share um, Sunday evening. Evening, um, at the Word Center about how he started out and it just tickled me and I started laughing it really blessed me it really did because they're saying we know that it's not going to be easy but God called you you're going to be all right you know and so that's why I said people of God it's a blessing because you get a joy the more that you serve the more that um you help other people because God said the one that is greatest among you he is a serve you know what I'm saying and just being able to serve people of God it made me feel so good. And he lifted me up and he gave me even more strength. And, you know, even in this, just this song brought me right into worship. And then as I went into worship, I started feeling, thank you, God, for everything that you have ever done for me, because everything isn't a bad thing. Some things that look like it's bad, God, turn it around for your good, people of God. So you got to realize that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The enemy meant it for my bad to try to slow me down, to try to really stop me, get me discouraged. But guess what? I'm going to keep running on to see what the end going to be. That's what we got to do, people of God, no matter what happens, no matter the love, the loved ones that we missed and we lost and things happen and we don't understand it and it hurt our hearts to our hearts. We got to realize that we got to st um, be strengthened by that. That's like the parents that lost their loved ones to gun violence. They could become speakers to other parents, form organizations to other parents to help them other parents deal with situations that they're going through. That's why now I want to be a domestic um, violence um, advocate because of the simple fact that I have dealt with situations of domestic violence. And I'm telling you, people of God, 